Hi everyone, today I'm gonna be going through my singles collection. Um, be ready because it's probably gonna be a long video, but I just wanna say a few things before we start. Uh, first one is that no one needs this amount, the, this amount of eyeshadows. Uh, personally, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't even have half of what I have. This is, you know, it got out of control over the years and I would say in the past year, or even more than that, I've been much better, you know, making decisions. But the thing was, when I first started uh, getting into singles, I didn't really know what I liked, what I didn't like, especially when I was, you know, experimenting with like new formulas because like before I wouldn't wear greens from like mainstream brands because none of them had like a nice formula. But with like a super sparkly shades, that's how I started using more green. So then I couldn't decide if I wanted to buy a shadow or not because I didn't even know if I was gonna like it or not. So in the beginning of my single shadow journey, I had this problem with like making decisions. I couldn't, uh, so I would pretty much buy everything. Uh, and that is how I ended up with so many singles. And the other thing is that I also think that in the beginning of my journey, <laughs> the single shadow journey, uh, I didn't know anyone who did swatches. So I couldn't find swatches. I couldn't tell how the shadows looked like. Um, and I also didn't know how to interpret the photos that I did find. Nowadays, I can tell on a photo if a shadow is gonna be shiny or dull. Uh, but before that, I, f I couldn't, you know, like if it kind of looked shiny, I thought it was gonna be shiny and then, you know, I would buy it and then it would be dull. Um, and of course, you know, depending on the brand, the swatches are bad or they are good. So um, this is why I had so many. Nowadays, you know, I don't, I, I barely buy singles uh, because I just have so much and I feel overwhelmed already by what I have. Uh, but I just want to make this disclaimer that if I could go back in time, I would not have all the shades and I would have less than half of this for sure. Um, so let's get started. Let's start with Luxie. Um, I have another palette for Luxie. I just don't know where it is because I have just the piles in front of me. So it's eventually you're going to see it. But this is the dull looking shades. Uh, I have another one with the sparkly ones. And Luxie no longer offers this many eyeshadows. And I'm very happy with that because I really don't think they... <laughs> Like, some of these are really not memorable. Um, I keep them because I bought them. Uh, I have, over the years, done declutters, and I recently did a really big declutter. Uh, but the thing is that I don't have many people in my life that are into single eyeshadow, so I did have, you know, I gave to my coworker, but then I had to ask her to buy a palette, so she bought a palette, and I filled the palette. Uh, but, you know, I can't keep asking her to buy a palette so that I can give her the singles, you know? Uh, so, so yeah, I probably could get rid of some of these, but, I mean, not all of these are terrible. Uh, I would say maybe half of them I, I don't like. Um, but, yeah, these are the dull-looking shades from Luxie. This is the other palette from Luxie. It was right there. Uh, these are the sparkly shades. Uh, I also have... Oh, you're gonna see there's some palettes that are gonna be you know missing some shades because i have them in a custom palette um but you know pretty much this is where they would go so this is why there's some empty spots uh these are the sparkly shades from luxi um and i would say nowadays when luxi releases a new collection most of the time it's going to be sparkly shades the last collection that they did that wasn't all sparkly was the halloween collection but everything after that was you know some level of sparkle. Um, so yeah, these are the sparkly shades and this is my preferred formula from Luxie. Uh, this is like angel wings, you know, painted lady, shades like that. And then on this little palette here, I have my blue, oh God, this palette's a mess. This is the blue sparkly shades from Luxie. And then down here, I have some singles from It's Bell Cosmetics. I don't have place for this and I wasn't gonna get like another palette just to put the blues, you know? So yeah, this is it. Okay, then I have some uh, depotted shades. You're gonna see every now and then I'm gonna have a palette of depotted shades. These are all my depotted Lorac. I think that's, is it Lorac? No, what is it called? No, Violet Voss. Sorry, I couldn't remember. Um, some of the Violet Voss palettes had a really nice shimmer formula that like the, the one that had this, like the, 
it was something called Life. They had one and two, and those palettes were really good. Um, some of the others aren't, so I depotted them all. Probably shouldn't. I probably should have given some of those away. But anyway, these are all of them, and I don't really use a lot of these. I use this shade up here a lot. Uh, I use this shade here. This is like blue brown, but this one's super sparkly. Um, some of these are also like really sparkly golds, but overall, this was a bad decision. I should have just sold them or given them away, you know. But that is something that I learned with life, you know. Now, when I feel like depotting a palette, I just either give it away or sell it. I no longer depot it. It doesn't work for me. It works for some people, it just doesn't work for me. These are my Give Me Glow shades. I no longer buy from Give Me Glow just because. I, I just can't have these big pans, you know? I don't use them when I make custom palettes. I have to force myself to put them in a palette for me to use them because they don't fit on, you know, anything. So yeah, I, I really do like their formula. They do have like two formulas, one that is more sparkly and one that is more satin. Uh, I prefer the sparkly one, uh, but it's really hard, at least for me, to tell on the website what is what. So. Like, I, I've placed a few orders from them over the years, but I just don't get it anymore because, you know, like, I don't really have much space left for it. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, what I do like about Give Me Glow is that they have magnetic palettes and they are the only brand that I know that has big magnetic palettes that still offers big magnetic palettes for a decent price, you know. Um, this, these palettes that you're seeing, I think you can tell, by, they are by Colored Rain. Uh, they discontinued these. Uh, so, so yeah, I would recommend these palettes as well, but you can no longer get them. Uh, these are my JD Glow shades. Uh, I also do not, I no longer buy from JD Glow, but for, of course, other reasons. Um, I really did like their formula. Oh God, this shadow is stuck here. Sometimes I sanitize my shadows and I think the alcohol like makes them glued. I don't know what happens, but yeah, they get stuck. Um, what was I saying? Yes, I, I, I like their formula. Again, it's a little inconsistent. You kind of don't know what you're getting until you do get it. And when I got these, uh, there really weren't like swatches out there. I feel like nowadays you can you can find swatches of pretty much pretty much anything you want, you know, on Instagram. But back when I got these, I I don't know if there weren't swatches or if I just didn't know how to find them. So a lot of these like were bought in the dark. So they're not, you know, as shiny as I thought they would be. But you know, that always happens <laughs> with the with my first purchases. Okay, these are my Letho shades. Uh, most of these I got on palettes, labeled them, depotted them, and Letho and Natasha Denona, I think, are the only brands that works like depotting the palettes work for me because they're magnetic i can put them back in and i do like having these as singles so i just have the shimmers in one palette and the mattes in another palette and i like this i really like lito's formula their shimmer they have two shimmer formulas uh, i really like the sparkly one i know not everyone does but i really do they do have the other formula that's like more satin i don't think on any of their new palettes has this more satin formula, but I don't, I don't know, I don't mind it. I really like layering sometimes, like a satin and then a sparkly on top, so I'm very happy with my Letho uh, shades. Okay, please don't mind the palettes that have the stickers on them. Uh, there was something, I think this was the old Give Me Glow palette, so it was written like Give Me Glow here, and it bothered me, so I just put stickers on them. So you're gonna see a few of these around. Don't, please ignore it. Uh, this is um, my Touch of Glam uh, shades, and this is another example of me not being able to see properly what I was getting. You know, this this up here is the duochrome collection. I don't know how it is right now, but when I got these, they didn't have decent swatches. So it was pretty impossible to know which shade was what. They just had like group swatches with no labels on them. So I got the whole collection because I couldn't tell what I was getting. And of course I didn't need it. I didn't need all these blue and sparkly blacks. Uh, but you know, that was decisions that I passed me made that, you know, me right now wouldn't. I simply wouldn't buy these if I can't see what they are. Um, anyway, and then down here it's Color Me Moti Part 2 and Color Me Moti Part 1. I know it's kind of messy because I was just trying to put the shades back in their palettes. Um, so yeah, this is Touch of Glam. This is a mishmash of a bunch of things. Uh, top is Colourpop. This is Colored Rain, and this is the Manian Mue Likes a Drag original palette that I depotted. Another one that 
I actually did like depotting it. Uh, one of the very few that worked. Um, Color Rain also depotted palettes. I actually like them depotted. And the ColourPop singles, I have no idea how I got these. I don't remember. I think maybe I got them in a magnetic palette. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, I probably, I mean, I like this matte here and that's about it. You know, I have glass bowl, which I don't really care for. Um, so yeah, um, this is what's in here. Okay, this palette, I had many uh, like this. This is the only one left. Uh, these are palettes that I depotted over the years and uh, lots of these, most of these were regrets. I should have just gotten rid of the palette uh, instead of depotting it. But it's a mix of a lot of things. Uh, I had, I think, three that I gave away pretty much everything and then condensed it all on this one. Uh, I probably could also give all of these away. Um, I very rarely reach into this to get something like, I'm never gonna put this in a palette. Like what, this, no, this is gonna give me anxiety if I put this on a palette. Um, look at the shape of it, I can't. Um, so yeah, this is just the random uh, depotted palettes. Okay, these are my Davina palettes. Um, in here I have, uh, these are like their normal shimmers, they're not part of any collection, they're mattes, and these are some collections that they had that they have discontinued. And as I said, again, don't mind the, the holes, they're just in magnetic palettes that I have currently on my, you know, everyday makeup drawer. Um, I do think Davina has good swatches on their site, but some of the bundle, bundles didn't have lots of swatches. So nowadays these down here are a little bit too satin for my liking, but they do have some very pretty uh, shades. But these are all discontinued, I believe, and so are a lot of these original shades. Um, they're mattes. I don't love the formula. They can be a little bit patchy, but they do have some also pretty unique colors. Um, and then on this other palette, I have the the like special collections. Uh, I think, I think only one of, I think only this collection here is discontinued. Everything else is still available, I believe. And then I have Fairy Fire down here. Um, these are their like really sparkly, you know, shimmers. And again, I bought all the bundles because I couldn't decide what I wanted or not. You know, if I could go back in time, you know, for example, for both the candy cakes and the, what is this called? Star Chasers, I wouldn't have gotten the these bottom, bottom two shades, which are like a blue with a pink sparkle, because I just don't wear blues with pink sparkles. Uh, but back then, I couldn't make a decision, so I just bought the whole bundle. And this is, you know, the theme. If a, if a brand has a bundle, I just buy the bundle because that, you know, makes it easier for me. Uh, but of course, nowadays, I don't do that anymore. I can, you know, really, I, I really look into the shades to really see what I truly want uh, and what could truly be unique to my collection. Uh, but back then, I didn't think like that. So these are my Davina shades. These are my Glam Shop Tubro Glow shades um, that I recently swatched. As you can see, they're kind of organized by color. Uh, another one that I you know, I tried a few shades, I fell in love with the formula, went back and bought everything. However, I most of these shades I really don't regret buying. I do really like it. Um, there might be one shade, like these two here have dupes from Terra Moons, and I'm pretty sure I had the Terra Moons before, but um, yeah, I don't necessarily regret any of these, but these were definitely like an impulse purchase, you know, I just got everything. Um, although Glam Shop does have good swatches on their site, or at least they have some swatches where you can at least see what you are getting. Um, so yeah, these are just the Turbo Glows. Okay, this is a mix of Burnovich and Glam Shop. Uh, I tried from Burnovich before I tried from Glam Shop, and I don't know if you know this, but Burnovich and Glam Shop have a lot of overlap. Uh, very few shades in here are unique to Burnovich. I feel like a lot of them are the same uh, as the Glam, to, to Glam Shop, but I didn't know that when I bought it. So I bought from Burnovich and then I bought from Glam Shop <laughs> because Glam Shop does have more uh, shades. And then I ended up with a bunch of dupes, uh, but I do truly love the sparkly formula. So these are the Burnovich shades. This bottom here are also Burnovich. They're like their normal shimmers, which aren't as a sparkly, but they're still quite nice. And then here are the Glam Shop Multicrums and the Glam Shop Crystals. Um, I do really like their crystals collection. It's very similar to the Divina, um, what's it called? 
Moon, Moon, Moon something, Moonscapes collection, but none of the shades are 100% dupes. They're like variations of each other, so that's cool. Uh, and then these are the, as I said, the multi-chromes. I don't like their, well, it's fine. They're more sat, they're more like shiny metallic ones. I really do like these ones down here that are the more sparkly ones, and I think these are the only ones that they currently have. I think they discontinued the other ones. And then this, this is the palette that you can get nowadays that is big. Uh, this is the only one that I know that is under $20, uh, or at least as it is $20, but you can get it on a sale. Uh, and it's giant. I think you can tell, like, it's bigger than the colored rain one. For me, it's perfect, but for you, it might be too much. So just be aware of that. Um, these are the rest of my Glam Shop shadows. These are, like, their Glam shadows, which I don't understand. They have, like, the pearls and the ultra ultra pearls but a lot of these look like tuber glows so i don't know i try to separate between like the sparkly ones and the not so sparkly ones and then i have some mattes down here uh, i'm pretty sure these mattes i depotted from a palette and then some they got you know i got sent like a free gift with order or something um so yeah these are the glam shadows this is you know a palette that i could definitely do some decluttering there's some like more satins down here that i really don't use but i i really like my glam shop shadows um, so yeah, this is, I think, my last Glam Shop palette. I think I've shown you all. No, I lied, there's still one more. Uh, these are the hollows, the marbles, the velvets, and the pastels. The pastels have been discontinued. Um, for a good reason, they are not <laughs> shiny. They have like, I mean, the formula is inconsistent, but like majority of them are like really not shiny. Uh, and again, I think you can see, like, I have the whole collection because I really, at one point, I was really into Glam Shop because they, you know, have really cheap shadows and I was blown away by the quality of the Turbo Glows. And I do have to say, I really do like the, the these other ones. I don't really use the hollows a lot just because hollows aren't really my thing. Um, and the marbles, mar marble ones, you do have to be a little bit, bit, bit careful because they are, like, chunkier. Uh, but I really do like the marbles. Some of them are really, really, really pretty. Um, but of course, I didn't need all of them. Like, I don't wear all these shades and i also didn't need the pastels you know like they're not really my kind of shadow but um you know this was just again past me making really bad purchasing decisions this is uh, my dandelions uh, cosmetics uh, collection i am missing a few shades again because they are in, in custom palettes um i really like their mattes i think they have really pretty mattes and really unique tones look at that color of that green so pretty uh their shimmers are a little bit inconsistent some of t some to me are really sparkly others aren't um so i don't really buy their shimmers anymore but i do really like uh i think it's this shade here called yeah spoiled brat um seraphin and dahlia i think yeah um but I did do some declutter uh, on this palette because I couldn't even fit all the shades here. So I did declutter some of the iridescent ones that were a bit more dull. Um, but yeah, that is what I have from them. And I also have these. I think these are face. Oh, this is not it. Oh, it's this. <laughs> these are the face highlighters. These are really sparkly. Um, and I really like them as toppers. I keep them separate because I'm always reaching into them to just like use them as toppers. I really like these two top here. I did let this fall, so it's uh, complicated. Okay, Gorgon and Chimera. Oh God, I need to clean this. They are very uh, fragile, so just be mindful of that. In here, I have my press glitters. I don't use press glitters. I have no idea why I have press glitters. Um, I don't remember if I bought these. If I know some of these are like shades that were in palettes that I depotted. Most of these are ColourPop. Uh, yeah, this could all go. The thing is that I have no one in my life that would use press glitters. So I hold on to them. Okay, these are my Sarah's uh, shadows. Uh, you've seen this before here. Uh, these were sent in PR. I've only had these shadows to me sent in PR, not this one. This one, I don't know what's doing there. Um, so yeah, everything else was bought with my money. As I said, very bad purchasing decisions. Uh, but yeah, these are Sarah's shadows. They live here. I like the way they look and this little palette. And you know my opinion on them. I love these. Then we have 
Okay, these are my pretties for your face highlighters. Can you see how giant this palette is? These are like big pans, okay? <laughs> uh, I really, 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 really like my pretties for your face highlighters. Some are better than others. Um, this is one of their newest ones. I should have gotten it in the small pan, but I think that they only had it available on the big pan. Is it gonna show you? This is Icicle. It's a stunning shade, stunning. And I mean, other brands have shades like this and they charge like five times the price of it. So, you know, just that. I didn't need all of these, of course, like this, I've never used that shade, but, um, but yeah, I like them. I also really like this one here called, I think, Candy Corn. And some of them are scented, so this smells like, like candy right now. <laughs> I had to go find this because I, I knew something was missing. Uh, I have some other shades in here. These are the ones that I use the most. Um, this one here is not pretty for your face, but the other ones are. And I also like them as eyeshadows. Um, so that's why I'm showing you because most of these I use on my eyes. Okay, this is my Cleona stained glass collection. I do have another Cleona palette here somewhere. Um, another, you know, this is another. <laughs> Uh, example of me buying bundles because I can't make a decision. I do not regret getting all the glitter multi-chromes. I do love them all. Uh, there's like not a single shade here that I feel like I they like let me down. I really like them. Uh, now the hybrid multi-chromes, I probably could have you know just gotten Shard and Chalice. Although Chal Chalice, is that how you pronounce it? Sounds wrong. But anyway. Um, that one um i feel like i probably didn't need chalice because i do have other shades like that and i also have other shades like shard um but i at, back then i couldn't really tell on the website which shades were shiny which shades were sparkly so i just got them um and they are nice it's just not fully my kinds of shades and the same thing with the vibrant multi-chromes i do really like their expansion you know uh, of shades but i probably did, didn't need a lot of the original ones i do like royalty bloodline and rain is this rain yeah rain and lineage although lineage isn't super sparkly it's more like a metallic with a sheen um, i also like this one here monarch but these i think monarch and rain are from the new expansion um but the other ones i really don't use them mm, then these are the glitter multi-chromes i do like these although again i probably didn't need all of them um these are the Iridescent, I, I just got two shades, I don't know why. Okay, my camera died, but these are the, like, not, like, I think they're just like the Iridescent series, I don't know if it's the one or two, uh, and I don't even know why I got only two shades, I think. I think I had a feeling this formula wasn't for me, I feel like, I feel like I knew that the glitter Iridescents were the ones for me, but I probably saw someone watching these, if I, not mistaken, I think it was Angelica. Uh, so I got two shades, I got Glare, and uh, flicker and i don't like any of them i do like glare more than flicker but flicker is so like it's just so dull i have something from terror moons that is i think it's phoenix from terror moons that is like a really shinier version of this but yeah this is not for me i think for some a lot of people this is you know beautiful but for me it's it's dull. Um, and then these shades here, I don't, I know that, I think this one here, I got it as a free gift. It's Tower. I don't like it. Um, I have Azure. It's one of the deep iridescents. I also don't like this one. Uh, it's just not shiny for me. Uh, I think that like if I put maybe a glitter glue down, I can get it to look shinier, but it's not. I don't have any of the other deep iridescents because I have the Terra Moons equivalent. So, you know, I wasn't going to dupe myself. And then here I have Rigo, which is one of their glitter, glitter type vibrant multi-chromes. And I do love it. I have my eye on the other ones that they released. I just haven't bought them yet. Um, okay these are the normal uh shadows shadows from cleona another situation where i really liked the few shades that i first tried and i went back and i bought them all and i didn't need to like all these blues i wear blue like once a year i do not need all these blues i do really like their formula uh they're like normal shimmer formula i would say my favorites are toadstool Warmwood, 
Where is it? Is it this one? No. I think it's probably in a, in a magnetic palette. Uh, I do have swatches of all of these on my Instagram if you want to see. Uh, they are my old setup swatches, but I think you can still see like how shiny they are. Uh, or was it this one? I don't know. Well, there's one new that they released that is amazing. It's called Santor. That one's beautiful, but again, it's in another palette. Uh, I also have some, and now I now remember, I have some shades from the expansion that were not on that palette because they are in another palette because I'm testing them out. Um, but, you know, they're going to go on that palette once I'm done. So, yeah, this is the Cleona original, like, normal formula, which is nice. Oh, I like this one here, too. Yeah, Vortex. Ah, but it's similar to Warmwood. And Shroom. Yeah, I think these were the ones that I originally got, and then I really liked the formula and went back and bought everything. Don't do that. Now, Sydney Grace. Look, these are just the mattes. As I said, some are missing. Uh, do I need all these shades of pinky neutrals? No. Uh, again, another situation where I tried a few, fell in love with the formula, and I went back and I bought everything. I did not buy everything Sydney Grace offers, I, <laughs> but uh, I bought a lot. And you can see I could narrow this. Like, why do I have so many of these like terracotta browns? I don't even use shades like that. Uh, like this row here, it's usually what I'm reaching for, or this row here with like the pinky neutrals, um, or maybe maybe this row. Yeah, like these are like the kind of mattes that I reach for. I don't reach into like these oranges. I don't know if I got the wrong idea from the website or if I just made a bad purchasing decision. I don't remember how this happened, but the same thing happened with their shimmers. Let me. Fine. Okay, so this is part of their shimmers. I do have another palette with the other colors. These are just the greens, the blues, and the golds. Um, but again, Sydney Grace has two types of formulas, and they did tell me a while ago that they were going to organize their website in a way that you can tell if the shade you're getting is the high shine formula or the more satin formula. I do really like their high shine shades. I think you can see like this is high shine. Uh, this one is high shine. The satin ones are fine. They're just not for me. Like this shade here, I'm just going to give you a comparison. Can you see like how this one is shinier than this? Okay, these are the rest of the Sydney Gray shimmers. Uh, oh God, I'm missing some. And then there was also the multi-chromes that were sent to me uh, that are here. Uh, one of those is not a multicrome, one of those is another shadow, but I have to put it in the other palette. So yeah, these are the rest of the Sydney Grace shimmers. Um, as I said, there's two formulas. Um, okay, these are my Adept Cosmetics singles, and I don't think they sell any of these anymore. And this is another example of me not knowing what to get from their website. Um, huh, I feel like I made a mess here. Now that I just realized, I feel like there's a shade missing here that I put in a palette. Oh god, I would have to go back and check. But anyway, these are like their original sing sing singles. Uh, they don't, they no longer sell. Uh, and the mattes are fine. The shimmers are fine. I do like some of these. Um, this is their diamond formula that was also pretty inconsistent. Like this is a matte with glitter, while this one is super beautiful and like wet looking. Um, so this was another situation where I couldn't figure out what I wanted, uh, especially because that cosmetics uses like computer swatches. Like they are not actual. Like the shadow is not actually swatched on the person's skin. At least when I bought these, it was just like a photo photoshopped on top of the arm. So I found that to be incredibly unhelpful. So I just bought like a bundle with all their shades and there were uh, lots of hits. But overall, like I didn't really need all these shadows. Um, so yeah, anyway, these are my Adept Cosmetics and I do have their some of their palettes, um, which I did the pot at one point, but then I do prefer them in their palettes. But I, as I said, I think I made a mess because these are the mattes from that palette, from those palettes. Uh, so I have to check exactly what happened there. Um, okay, these are my Terra Moons. Um, I do have another palette with Terra Moons and then I have a smaller one that's currently in my drawer because I'm using it. Uh, but this is the majority of them. Um, Terra Moons is another brand where 
when I first got into indie, uh, they were one of the first brands that I tried. So I ordered a few of their shades, like 12 shades maybe, and I fell in love with their formula because it was like my first time trying like creamy, sparkly, shiny shadows. So then back then they used to have a great Black Friday sale where you buy one and then you, it's like buy one, get one. And the shadows also used to be cheaper. So a lot of these shadows, I pay like $3 for them. Um, and this is why I have so many. A lot of these have been discontinued. I was, I was, care I was putting all the shades in the spreadsheet because I no longer knew what I had. And I noticed that a lot of these are no longer available. Uh, and a lot of them were like dull, like these ones here, like gray, gray patini and crushed velvet, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. These were like dull, I don't, you know, it's fine that they discontinued, but they also discontinued a lot of really nice sparkly shades. Like this one here, I don't know if it was like an exclusive to Urban Outfitters, but I love this one. It's called Perseus. Perseus? How do you say that? I have no idea how you say that in English. Um, so yeah, these are the Terra Moon shades. They also discontinued some of these. They were really pretty. Um, but as I said, again, you know, nowadays I don't buy that anymore. Uh, I've been very carefully considering my Terra Moons purchases, especially because they are extremely expensive now. They are no longer six dollars. Uh, and then these are the other Terra Moons shades I have. I have the mattes here. Um, their mattes can be a little hit or miss. Some of them are really nice, some of them are a little bit patchy. This shade here, I think it's this one here, used to be my all-time favorite. It's very patchy, but it was the only one that I had in this specific tone. Um, I have quite a dip in it. It's called Lunar Haze. I don't think they make those anymore. And then I have the blue, uh, the blues shimmer, blue shimmers, and the iridescence. And then I have like the grays down here. Um, yeah, this is my Terra Moons collection. Ugh. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is Pretty for Your Face. I have a few of Pretty for Your Face. These are like the neutrals and the grace. Uh, Pretty for your face, again, another brand where I first tried them, loved their formula, went back and ordered a bunch, and then realized that not all the shadows were made equal. So yeah, they do have some amazing shadows, and you know, you can get them for like $2.50 or $2. It's insane. Uh, but they also have others that, you know, I wouldn't recommend if you, like me, like sparkly eyeshadows. Um, but they do have some amazing ones. This one here called Titan is beautiful. Uh, this one here, Nightingale, one of my favorites. This one's not sparkly, but it's super, super shiny and works great as a one and done. Um, I have decluttered over the years the ones that felt dull to me, but I probably could do like a second round and declutter more if only I had someone to give to. But you know, it is what it is. Um, here we have, I think, the pinks and the purples. No. Okay, the oranges, the greens, and the blues. Um, as I said, some of these are amazing, some of these are so-so. Um, this one here called Eclipse is beautiful. I think you can see how shiny it is. Uh, but then we have shades like this one called Mary that is absolutely forgettable, at least for me. Um, group, I did remove the mirror on this palette because it was so goddamn heavy. Um, it looks horrendous, but anyway, it's very much, it's much lighter now. Um, again, these are the purples and these are the pinks. This shade here called Jolt, one of my all-time favorites. Love it. Um, yeah, there's another one here that I pull it out for a video. Um, but yeah, but I think you can see some of these are not as shiny as the others. I will do a Pretty For Your Face favorites at one point uh, so that, you know, we should have... <laughs> If you also struggle with deciding what to get, that should be helpful. Um, now we're gonna get into the Copacetic Cosmetics. Um, these are the Copacetics mattes, grays, and greens and blues shimmers. Um, Copacetic Cosmetics is also another brand where I tried a few shades, fell in love with their formula, went back and bought a bunch, and then was a little bit disappointed because their older formula is not as good as their newer formula. formula. I do feel like all the shades they release now are really nice, really shiny, it's sparkly, and you can usually tell on their website what you're getting. Uh, but when I went back and ordered like a bunch of older shades, they, it was like I think their older formula, which they weren't as nice. So I do really like their shifting shimmers, I also really like their flakies. Um, and as I said, I feel like 
all the new collections that they come out now are their you know more improved more improved or their improved formula um, so yeah I really do like uh, this one called hero of time this one here called Co cove so yeah I think you can see right that all of these are like more dull and then you have like some they're really shine uh, and then I have their mats. I don't know how I got all these mats and I don't know why I have so many greens <laughs> and so many browns But I somehow do I think I got maybe palettes. I have no idea how I got these mats I definitely bought them. I just don't know why I bought so many of these like Terracotta because I said I said I don't really use this shade uh, but anyway, this is my new uh, favorite mat that is called Planetary Go. You know, it, it, it replaced the one from Terra Moon, so they do like this formula better. Um, and then there, oh my god, the pile is falling. Okay, I think I got it. Um, these are the flakies and the multi-chromes. Their multi-chromes are amazing, especially the iridescent ones, amazing. Uh, the black-based ones, I don't use them as much. The only one that I really like is Uncharted. Um, like this one here for me is, oh God, I didn't say it was not on focus. This one here for me is um, more dull looking, but their iridescent ones and these like more colorful ones are amazing. I really like them. Also really like their flakies. Some of them are a little bit harder to work than others, but and some of them are also shinier than others. Um, but I've said this a few times before, my favorite way of using these are to amp up a boring look. So I already have like a, a matte all over my lid or a lackluster shimmer. Then I will get a little bit of one of these and put on top. I don't like to put these like directly on a tacky primer because I feel like it looks thicker and textured, but on top of a, like another shadow. And then like I, I like rub it on my eyelid and then it looks beautiful. This is how I like to use uh, these. Yeah, these are like the pinks, the purples, the reds. Again, I didn't, I didn't need any of these reds. I don't know how I have them or why I have them. I bought them, I guess. And uh, some like iridescents that aren't the multi-chromes. Um, again, it's the same thing for me that I said before. I really like their shifting shimmer formula and uh, the flakies. Uh, a lot of these are sparkly. Uh, well, a lot of the sparkly ones are shifting shimmers. Um, they have some shinier metallics and some more dull metallics. Like this one's more of a dull metallic that is called Tender. And then this one here is a more, more shiny metallic called Stay in Bed. So I would just say like if you're, you know, if you want to get something, just check their swatches first because you can usually tell by their swatches how shiny it's going gonna, it's gonna to be. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, these are my menagerie uh, shades. Most of these are depotted palettes. And this is another brand where I'm very happy with them depotted. I will use them more than I would use them if they were still on their in their palette. Um, menagerie, I like their mattes, they're fine. Their shimmers, uh, I find that they vary a little bit. Sometimes they can be a little dull, sometimes they can be more shiny. Um, I haven't gotten any of their newer collections, sorry, their newer palettes, um, but I do like some of their really shiny shimmers, and I like their mattes, uh, as, as I said. Uh, but I do find that, I, th I guess you can tell, a lot of them are similar, and of course I could only notice that once I depotted all the palettes and put them here. Like, all these greens look the same to me, uh, but they're all different shades. So, yeah, that is my menagerie. I, I, I don't think I've ever done any swatches of these because there hasn't been a lot of interest on it, but if you would like, I can definitely swatch them. These are, okay, these are my Natasha Denona uh, singles. Again, all of her big palettes that I had, I depotted. And another, this is another brand that I feel I get more use out of these depotted. I don't like the color stories of her big palettes, the ones that, that I had at least. I only like the gold palette, that's the only one that I kept in the packaging. Everything else went here and I, I like this the way it is. Uh, I really like the matte formula, so yeah, I use these a lot. Okay, then on this palette we have a bit of a mishmash. I have some depotted palettes here uh, that I regret depotting. I wish I had keep, kept them on their palettes 
and you know just give them away. And these are my Clarity Cosmetics singles. Um, again, I, and this is the only order that I place for them, uh, but. I didn't get any more because I don't really use the big, you know, the eyeshadows on the big pants. Um, and I also had a, a, a disaster happen. Um, they did message me and say that like it was a, you know, it was like a batch problem that they had during the period from which I ordered. Um, and everything was salvageable, but what happened was they put in the wrong amount of binder. Um, they put less binder than they should, so the shadows eventually like they didn't explode, but they became kind of loose in the pan. So I was very, you know, lucky that like I opened it carefully and noticed that like it looked like the shadow was like overflowing. So this is what these tiny pans are. It's like the extra powder that I got out of those pans and then I I pressed them on the small pans and then I repressed the big pans. So some of these are from the Mermazing palette and this one is the same as that shadow there because um, it happened to that shadow. The other ones were fine. It was just, I guess, these four shades that happened that. Um, but I had binder, so it was, you know, it wasn't a big problem. Uh, I, I just had never seen it happen before. But some of them are shinier than others, some of them are sparklier than others. I just haven't really kept up with clarity, uh, so I don't even know if these are even still available. Um, yeah, these are the rest. This is a Glam Light Pizza palette that I depotted. Uh, this is the Fenty Beauty palette that I depotted. Shouldn't have, should have given it away should have given it away and the flower beauty jungle lights palette that i depotted and i deeply regret it i wish i had kept it uh, with the pink one because i didn't depot the pink one and i'm not going to um then i have this random palette here we just pressed pigments these were like loose pigments that i have i no longer buy loose pigments because i don't use them uh but at one point in my life i thought why not press them and it was very satisfying to press them it was like therapy uh but i rarely reach into these. I do use this shade here called Candy Cane from Sample Beauty. It's amazing. But the other ones, I I, I rarely remember that I have this palette even. Um, okay, then last but not least, we have these um, shadows in smaller palettes. These are my Sample Beauty shadows. Um, I don't like a few of these. They're not all sparkly, but I couldn't tell online. Uh, I like Cobweb, Occasion, and Ritzy. Uh, so just these three um, Then these are oh These are some again loose pigments that I pressed I believe from cows makeup. They were like a Halloween collection. They were really pretty um, So yeah, I do like them, but as I said pressed uh, loose pigments aren't my thing um, Misha, uh, a Single shadows I forgot what they were called. Uh, I depotted them very happy with that uh, I like them. These are some shadows I depotted from a palette that I shouldn't have, and these are some ZC singles. Um, then these are also shadows that I depotted. These were those of color singles. They came like in a separate container, so I put them all in this palette. I don't use them a lot, but they are beautiful one and done. They're quite sparkly too, but I think they've been discontinued if I'm not mistaken. Then, okay, this is a mix of cream shadows. The ones here at the bottom and these three here are from Sephora. The ones at the top are from Tarte. Tarte used to have these like three like palettes, but they were just like three shades. And they were this like cream formula, which is exactly the same as the cream formula from Sephora. Uh, so some of these are more metallics, while the ones down here are more sparkly. Um, these are the ones from Sephora. Um, I do have swatches of those if you wonder which shades they are just go to my guides on my instagram and you're going to find the sephora swatches there uh, these are also loose pigments that i pressed from colourpop and the one, only one that i use is the one that is missing uh, i think these were like from the zodiac collection um, and then okay these are my nabla shades um, I don't like them all. I find like this one like has a really bad hard pan. It's impossible to get shadow out of. But then we have Water Dream, which is amazing in Alchemy. Um, this is a depotted um, Space Cowboy from um, Urban Decay. And these are also my depotted singles. Oh, I see you can see my depotted singles from the Urban Decay stoned vibes collection is that what it's called that palette that had like really sparkly shimmers those are the depotted from that palette and i think this is it 
Thank you for staying with me in this chaotic video. I'll see you in my next one.